the day has come. The bloody world of Game of Thrones has come to an end. Now the long nights of waiting for the last season begin for fans. Stay with us to find out how the main cast is surviving the post-Game of Thrones syndrome. Spoiler alert for those who still have not seen previous seasons. And for those who have, prepare to get nostalgic. Kit Harington as Jon Snow. After the mystery of Jon's ancestry was revealed in the season seven finale, we can't wait to see how things will change for the King of the North. We are especially intrigued about the most awaited romance of the show. Things are going to get hot, just as hot as the real life of Kit Harington. After his recent wedding with the Ginger Wildling co-star Rose Leslie, Kit's personal life is bursting with bright colors together with his career. The man is on fire! Kit will soon appear on the big screen, starring alongside actresses Jessica Chastain and Natalie Portman in the film The Death and Life of John F. Donovan, a drama that is set for release this year. We will also hear our favorite Jon Snow's voice in the next part of How to Train Your Dragon next year. Moreover, the man is starring in the Sam Shepard play True West in London Vaudeville Theatre. Seems he has it all. Does he even miss the Game of Thrones world? After his last scene was shot, Kit expressed his feelings about the show. It's always been more than a job. They were a family, and it was my life. I've loved every minute of it. He surely loved it, but Kit also can't wait to change his style. I can't go into my next role looking the same. This role was brilliant, but I'll need to get rid of Jon Snow. Kit Harington tells Entertainment Weekly that he finally plans to chop off his iconic locks. Kit wants to be less recognizable as the character and star in new roles with a completely new look and tone. Such a shame for the fans, but all right, we will love him anyway. Amelia Clark as Daenerys Targaryen. The hottest mother of dragons is still grieving about leaving the show. On her Instagram, she said the sweetest things about the show. Thank you for the life I never dreamed I'd be able to live and the family I'll never stop missing. To keep a part of the Game of Thrones universe with her, Amelia is even getting a special tattoo of a dragon on her wrist. Isn't that sweet? We last saw Daenerys getting ready for the Great War as a main leader. In real life, her acting career is also surging full steam ahead. This year, she has two premieres on the big screen. The first one is the role of Han Solo's childhood best friend and first love, Kira, in the new Star Wars film about Han Solo. And the second one is a leading role in a thriller film, Above Suspicion, directed by Philip Noyce. Keep on going, Khaleesi! Peter Dinklage as Tyrion Lannister. Opposite to Kit and Amelia, Peter is pretty down to earth when it comes to sharing his feelings about the show's end. Perhaps the sarcastic and skeptical nature of the Lannisters is still in his blood? In an interview with Variety regarding the end of HBO's mega hit, Peter responded, It's time. Story-wise, not just for all our lives, it's the perfect time to end it. Sometimes shows stay on a little too long, the jumping the shark thing. Similar to Tyrion, Peter accepts life's changes without being dramatic. Or perhaps it is because the actor is too busy with other projects since Game of Thrones ended. In 2018, Dinklage produced and starred in I Think We're Alone Now, a post-apocalyptic drama. The film premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. Dinklage also appeared in the 2018 Marvel Studios film Avengers Infinity War as the character Atri, a giant dwarf. And there are many more projects to come. However, Peter does get a little sentimental about the show sometimes. He recently revealed, It's gonna be sad when Thrones is over. I really do love everyone I work with on that show. We also loved your acting there, Peter. Lena Headey as Cersei Lannister. And now we continue with Lannisters. Cersei is the one who suffered the most. And we're not just talking about on the show itself. The actress Lena Headey is so tired of all the hate and shame brought to her because of her cruel character. She shared in an interview that fans of the show sometimes cross the line with inappropriate comments. One man asked her about whether the black is actually her natural hair color, and when Lena confirmed this, the man added that the wig was much better and that he liked her more as a blonde. She was just crushed by this and could not believe that he thought that was actually all right for him to say. Regardless, Lena is now an actual queen, both in Westeros and in millions of Game of Thrones fans IRL, to be honest. The actress is set to appear in two films in 2018. The immigration drama, The Flood, alongside fellow GOT actor Ian Glenn, and the wrestling biopic Fighting With My Family. We wish her good luck and hope to see her on the big screen soon. Nicola Costa Waldau as Jamie Lannister, Cersei's brother slash lover slash partner in crime. The Kingslayer Jamie Lannister is the one who is torn apart between doing what is right and doing what he really wants. In real life, Nicola Costa Waldau is much more determined and focused especially after Game of Thrones bolstered his Hollywood star power. 
Nowadays, Castro Waldau regularly appears in English-speaking TV and film roles. The actor can currently be seen in the Netflix original drama Small Crimes, as well as a crime drama film called Shot Caller. Castro Waldau will also star in iconic director Brian De Palma's upcoming thriller, Domino, alongside fellow Game of Thrones cast member Carice Van Houten, who plays Missandre. Seems like Nicola Castro Waldo is just like his fellow Lannisters, who are grateful for the GOT experience but do not make a big deal out of its ending. This is how he commented on the change that Game of Thrones brought to his life. I don't know if it's changed my life per se. I have the same wife, the same kids, the same house, the same old Skada. Though he added that these nine years were quite extraordinary for all of them. We bet they were. Maisie Williams as Arya Stark. Let's get back to the lovers of wolves, and the first will be the fearless Arya Stark. Maisie Williams got everyone really tense by posting this photo on Instagram, with the description, Goodbye Belfast, goodbye Arya, goodbye Game of Thrones, what a joy I've had. Here's to the adventures to come. And along with that came two vague but intriguing hashtags. Hashtag last woman standing, hashtag barely. The internet is full of guesses about what she was talking about, and whether Arya is going to be the last one to survive the Great War with the White Walkers. Anyways, for Maisie, the end of Game of Thrones means only one thing. She will never get to be Arya again. Honestly, no matter what else I work on, I'll miss playing her, she said. The actress loved her character, and for a long time she felt like the same person as Arya. But now that she's older, she has grown into a different person and found other sides to her personality. Maisie thinks that Arya helped her to be more fearless in the industry. As for what's next, Williams wants to get into theater work and indie films. She's also co-launching a networking app for creative professionals called Daisy with film producer Dom Santry. Sounds like a massive project. In her spare time, Maisie shares an apartment with iBoy co-star Bill Milner and enjoys playing video games until 3 in the morning, taking care of her two pet tortoises, Barney and Stevie Wonder, and walking her Shih Tzu Sunny must be much more positive and relaxing than the life of her character. Sophie Turner as Sansa Stark. Her on-screen sister, Redhead Sansa, seems to have a pretty fun life off-screen as well. After her last time on the set of Game of Thrones, she finally gets to do what she has been striving for for so long. The actress revealed that she wants to travel as much as she can, learn to play the guitar, and just spend weeks and weeks at home and hang out with her friends. As she admitted, she hasn't done that in forever. She will also return to the role of telepathic mutant Jean Grey in next year's X-Men Dark Phoenix. Along with that will come other film projects, where Sophie will try herself not only as an actress, but as a producer. Although Sophie is missing her role as Sansa. I would miss Sansa, she says. I love her. She's half of me, and I'm half of her. Just like Amelia Clark, Sophie Turner also got a Game of Thrones tattoo after she finished filming. She got inked in June by Australian tattoo artist Lauren Windsor, and was immediately accused of leaking GOT Season 8 spoilers. Many interpreted her tattoo, which says, The Pack Survives, as confirmation the remaining members of the Stark family make it through Season 8 unscathed. In reality, the line was just a quote from the seventh season. But fans are still suspicious about her answer. The Scarlet Star sure knows how to get fans to stay tuned. Isaac Hempstead Wright as Bran Stark. And last, but not the least of the Starks, the Three-Eyed Raven. Isaac Hempstead Wright spent much of his school career getting to grips with life in Westeros, and all the misery, murder, and mayhem that entails. But it seems that the Game of Thrones star has seen a future beyond his role as Bran Stark, and is reportedly preparing to embark on a new adventure, university. Hempstead Wright was a first-year student at the University of Birmingham studying maths and music, but he dropped out early in order to focus on his acting career. Nevertheless, he hopes to return to the university and complete his degree now that Game of Thrones finally ended. There is no doubt his fellow students are very excited about the prospect of bumping into the three-eyed raven around town. The actor is quite upset about leaving the show, and he's eagerly waiting for the premiere of the season eight. When it actually finishes, it's gonna hit hard, he said. You are so right. It will be even harder for fans. Natalia Manuel as Missandei. The Dragon Mother's right-hand woman Missandei is actually fond of music. As Nathalie previously appeared in The Lion King on London's West End, she is now considering to continue singing. I do like singing, but haven't done it in a long time. I've had a couple of auditions to play people who sing. Maybe the actress could fire up a music career when she leaves Westeros behind. We will soon see. As the fantasy drama draws to a close, Nathalie is also going to mark her time with a tattoo. I've thought about an idea for myself, but I'm going to keep it a secret, she teased. There's a necklace they put on me, which has a dragon wrapped around it, and I'd like that, she said. 
Maybe she'll follow her queen and get a dragon tattoo on her wrist as well. Daenerys' most trusted advisor also said her goodbyes to Westeros on Instagram. She shared a photo from one of her favorite spots in Belfast, where the series is shot. In her post, she used the hashtags, can't believe it's all coming to an end, and why, to express her heartbreak over the upcoming end of the show. We can understand your emotions, Nathalie. It's not easy for us as well. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel to get the best stories about your favorite celebs and shows.